yeah um first of all um what we what we envisage here is not uh focusing on adf but adf is such a hot topic that it it, it, it got the whole attention um besides the edf calls also we uh we selected uh, several calls from a uh, cluster uh, cluster three which is uh um secure society uh, some some dfs call disaster near society so in in light of that i will repeat again the uh, what is horizon europe because all these dfs calls are under horizon uh, europe uh, uh, program and they are part of civil security for society um here's just uh, how much uh, research has been financed so far uh within horizon calls and also i prepared uh, a slide for edf budget uh indeed 7.9 maybe something about uh comma uh didn't make it to 8 billion <laughs> in, in the text that is present on the commission website so i have 8 billion but uh it might be in reality 7.9 and something as you mentioned uh, victor uh so uh where these calls that have been uh, mentioned by by several or by uh, by Victor, uh, they are on the left side of, of, of this figure is basically search and development. Um, and then indeed you have there uh, for the development calls, the EU co-financing uh, with the member states. Um, now going back uh, to what I said before, I will start and present the calls that we selected for actually introducing how the calls uh, ID uh, looks and then where to look uh, in order to speed up the process of uh, judging for yourself if the call is relevant or not for you. For the Horizon Europe uh, calls, uh, you will start with the, with the name Horizon, then you have uh, CL number three, which is basically indicates which, is, which cluster uh, um, from, from, the, from the pillar number two from the Horizon Europe, what is the year of the work program. So in this, uh, this case, 2022, and then DRS, it, it uh, codes the destination of the call, which is Disaster Resilient Society for Europe. And then you have an indicator of the call. So you will have here 01 and then 02, and then you have the title of the call. Uh, for EDF, um, structure goes the same way, only that is not part of Horizon. So when you look for uh, in the funding and tenders uh, SEDIA uh, portal, uh, you have to select the EDF, uh, EDF call and uh, not Horizon. So pay attention to there. Uh, or, uh, or otherwise you can leave uh, unchecked and then just uh, type EDF and all the EDF calls will be displayed. But uh, follow the same structure. EDF is the EO program. Then the, the year of, uh, of the work program or the publication of the call, which is 2022. And then you have uh, ERA, which means it's a research action. It's the one that has been funded 100%, uh, but it also can be um, the A, which is development action. Uh, and then in this case, um, space represents the category. It's something that also uh, Victor mentioned. And then you have the topic, which is response to space system. Uh, on top of what uh, Victor said, um, recently on, uh, on 30, 30 of June and 1st of July, uh, EDF uh, hold the uh, info days. Um, the video will become available soon. This is what indicated on their website. Uh, but there, are, uh, there there's an extensive uh, PowerPoint presentation or slides uh, made available, uh, which basically summarizes uh, a lot of information, starting from uh, the calls, uh, from topics, from funding, from eligibility, and then please do consult also uh, the link here if you want to inform yourself about uh, EDF. Um, yeah, uh, I wanted to put also here because uh, we look a lot at the uh, uh, SMEs. So I started with a very interesting uh, maybe opportunity uh, for somebody that already has uh, such an application uh, developed at the higher DRLs. So I love, I would like to mention uh, ADA, uh, European Defense Agency uh, Defense Innovation Prize. Uh, it is a 30,000 prize. Um, the, the, yeah, registering uh, for this prize uh, has opened on the 12th of April 2022. The deadline for uh, registering uh, and entering into the, entering into the context is 9 September 2022. Um, yeah, this year the EDA Defense uh, Innovation Prize uh, will focus on space debris. So if you have a, an application that focuses on space debris, 
uh, maybe this is something interesting for you uh, and then you can uh, you can enter into the uh, contest um yeah who can apply as i said non-traditional defense industries uh, small and medium-sized enterprises research organizations and university involved in defense research and development activities uh, moving a little bit uh, further, we have a lot of information to share, so that's why I'm talking very fast and then uh, flying through, through slides. Um, I will start with the, with the calls that are not related to EDF, the calls that are actually listed on the Horizon Europe. You have here uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of calls coming from DRS or uh, from uh, Border uh, for Border. Um, you have uh, each call is hyperlink. So basically, if you link, um, uh, if you click on, uh, on the blue uh, text, you will be redirected to open calls uh, portal uh, developed by uh, groundstation.space. And then you will retrieve from there a fact sheet with uh, a summary of information about the call. Um, so these are the calls that I listed for uh, Horizon. They are all 2022. The, the, we also identified two calls. Uh, that will be opening in uh, 2023, um, both of them on, on, uh, on the space destination. So moving a little bit further, uh, this is how the fact sheets look. So you have here the fact sheets for the call that I presented a little bit earlier when I explained the ID. Uh, um, so this is a fact sheet for the DRS 0102 call. Uh, you can retrieve in a snapshot uh, what is the funding, what are the deadlines, the, the, what are the countries, and then what is the scope and the topics. Um, and then on the right side, you have also uh, how the EDF calls uh, fact sheet uh, looks. So, so pre pretty much the same, but of course, uh, there are different, different elements uh, specific to the call. Um, here we have presented a list of EDF calls. Um, I think I shortlisted, uh, yeah, 11. We, show, we have shortlisted, uh, shortlisted 11. So uh, it seems that the number uh, increase or decrease, we have the most, but uh, basically we haven't covered the, the, some of the calls that Seva mentioned because those are coming from the cybernetics uh, point of view and from artificial point of view. So in our exercise, we try to focus as much as possible on, on, on space related uh, or space sector related uh, course. Um, so these are the calls that we, uh, we selected. Uh, it's true that the course that we selected contains all the three space uh, calls mentioned by Victor uh, earlier. Um, yeah, I, I, I basically uh, needed to, to change the information about the national uh, focal point or the national contact point uh, because uh, listed on the website of EDF was Boy Das Here, but as Victor mentioned uh, earlier, he is the person to, uh, to get in contact with it. So please do, do so. I also added his email here. Um, and then the phone number, I think it's from, uh, from Boy. Uh, so I think just use uh, Victor's contacts uh, and then please also use uh, Victor in the breakout session. Um, besides the matchmaking sessions, also Ground, Ground Station to Space uh, does a lot of work in the area of mapping. Uh, small and medium enterprises, companies, institutions, organizations that work in the in the space domain, uh, and then we realized for the past uh, one and a half years uh, two very interesting uh, ecosystem or space industry maps. We did the space industry map uh, of the Netherlands, uh, and then the space ecosystem map of the Czech Republic uh, with the support of OSPA, European Space Agency, uh, Space Program Agency. Um, you can uh, use this, uh, uh, these maps uh, or ecosystem map in order to identify maybe relevant partners uh, uh, from the Netherlands or, or Czech Republic. On top, of course, of the, of the listed uh, willing partners in the Horizon call, uh, for each Horizon calls, this is something that has been offered by the, by the portal or even by the EDF uh, call. Um, yeah, some general information, uh, very good that uh, the Victor was here, of course, he already made himself available. Um, I think he specified that the advisorship comes only for NL organization, from, from Dutch organization, uh, and then I'm actually reiterating this. Uh, for accessing the calls uh, and uh, the portal uh, where you can search uh, the funding and tenders, uh, then you can use the link uh, to, to Sedia. 
And then for the calls that I mentioned earlier that are part of Horizon Europe, uh, besides the ADF Info Days, you also have the Horizon Europe Info Days, and there you can also find a lot of interesting information for each, each call. Recently, uh, for the DRS call, Disaster Resilience Societies, uh, society, the info days just happened on the 20th of, uh, of June, so it's very fresh, and you can see there a lot of information call by call and what the project officer actually requires for, for the course or expects for this course. So that would be my uh, my presentation and call. All right, thank you very much, Andre. Um, in the interest of time, I, I only have one quick question, if that's okay. Um, I got one question in the chat. Can you share this presentation? The answer is yes. Very simple answer. The answer is yes. Uh, you will receive all the presentations that you've seen from all the presenters um, in your inbox probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So, uh, so thank you for asking. Um, Andre, one question. Um, how can GroundStation.Space help people who are interested in uh, organizations who are interested in uh, applying to these calls? Well, uh, Ground Station Dot Space has a really large network um, of of, uh, of companies, SMEs, institutions, more than two thousand, uh, and then these are uh, these are uh, soft contracts. These are real person contacts, uh, and also uh, Ground, Ground Station Dot Station uh, does a lot of work in project development uh, or tendering. Um, also, we are involved in innovation management. Uh, we also realize uh, market consultation. Uh, also, we do a lot of capacity building, but also we do a lot of matchmaking uh, uh, for the Dutch companies uh, looking up abroad, trying to contact partners from abroad. And then uh, we have done uh, in the past uh, this, and then we are also doing at, at, at the moment trying to set up a consortia where. Uh, Dutch companies are uh, represented in large consortia with really competitive uh, partners from other uh, European countries. Okay.